All right, guys, so we're out of hibernation. And today we're going to talk about the amazing leaf tail geckos. I'm David. And I'm Manny. Tiki's geckos. Woo! Today, we're going to be talking about the leaf-tailed geckos. The ones that we're going to be talking about are co come from the island of Madagascar. There are also some Australian leaf-tailed geckos, but they're not as cool. So we're going to talk about the, the Madagascar leaf-tailed geckos. We're going to talk about the Europlatus fantasticus, Europlatus sicarae, and Europlatus fimbriatus. Okay? I know it's hard to pronounce, but bear with me. Um, the Europlatus fantasticus and the Europlatus sicarae, also known as satanic leaf tail gecko and mossy leaf tail gecko, they usually come from the same part of Madagascar, from the east coast, and sometimes a little bit of the central uh, part of the island. But these geckos like cooler temperatures, you want to keep them any in like 72 degrees during the day and drop them to around 68 degrees at night. And you also want to make sure the humidity is high. These animals, just like the other geckos we work with, require a high humidity, but these are a little bit more delicate. So you want to make sure that you spray the, the cage one heavy misting at night, and you want to maintain the hu humidity around 80%. Now, these guys are insectiv insectivores, feeding on insects, a variety of insects. The key to keeping them healthy is feeding them a variety of yes. insects. And not only that, but also gut loading the insects. That's honestly the, the real secret to keeping healthy animals. Now, the type of insects you can feed them are like crickets, roaches, silkworms, butterworms, worm, you know, all kinds of worms and a bunch of different insects. But um, you're gonna wanna gut load these guys with kale, carrots, just a bunch of nutritious vegetables and also oranges. Yeah, exactly. Um, if you have healthy feeder insects, you're gonna have healthy animals. So like Manny said, the keys are feeding a whole bunch of healthy foods to your insects and the variety of insects that you feed. And you will have healthy geckos. All right, so the mossy leaf tail gecko is actually a smaller species of gecko reaching five to seven inches as an adult. And so is the satanic leaf tail geckos reaching, you know, five to six inches as an adult. They're very small animals, so they don't require a lot of space. Now, like David said, these guys are relatively small geckos, so they don't need a big enclosure. For an adult sicarae or satanic leaf tail, you need around a 12 by 12 by 18. Nothing more. You know, that's a, that's a good size cage. And then we highly, well, we recommend that you use live plants, like pothos or ficus, because they help hold in the humidity much better. And let's be honest, it does look much better than plastic plants. The next species we're going to talk about briefly is uh, Europlatus fimbriatus, which is the giant leaf tail gecko. These guys are amazing. They're, when you hold these animals, they're like nothing you've ever held before. The, you feel the, the lamellae under their feet, very cool. The big bulges eyes, and not to be compared to any other animal. The Europlatus fimbriatus, or giant leaf tail gecko, can max out around 13 inches and they're a little bit hardier than the other leaf tail geckos we were talking about. They actually withstand a little bit higher temperatures, reaching the, you know 78 to 80 degrees during the day. That's totally fine. And you could drop them down to like the seven, the low 70s. So pretty much about room temperature. Uh, yeah. For the geckos. And um, since these guys are bigger, they do require a bigger enclosure. For an adult fimbriatus, you're talking about an 18 by 18 by 24. But if you have a bigger cage. Bigger is always better. And for a juvenile, all you really need is a 10 gallon tank, but you will need to upgrade soon. Because yeah. these guys, yeah. they get pretty big. They get big and they grow fast. Like we stated with the other leaf tail geckos, they're insectivores. 
So when you're pounding insects into these animals, they're gonna grow very, very quickly. So you gotta make sure that uh, you know you keep up with the growth of the animal. Okay, guys. So like any other reptile, uh, these are awesome. They're and it's a blast to have. So if you could get them, I definitely recommend them. But you do have to be careful. Um, I wouldn't recommend them for the first time reptile keeper. They're a little bit more delicate. They're not hard to keep, but they are a little bit more delicate. So with that being said, you know, uh, just make sure you do your research be before you get one. Yeah, and just a quick recap of what we talked about. Basically, these three species of Europlatus are insectivores and you need a variety of insects to be fed, which are gut loaded for best nutrition. Exactly. And the cage requirements for the smaller Europlatuses are around the 12 by 12 by 18, and then the Fimbriatus, uh, 18 by 18 by 24. The small, the Fantastics and the Sycorate need cooler temps, while the Fimbriatus can withstand a little bit hotter temperatures, and they all need higher humidities. Yeah. Um, one more thing I wanted to touch up on, especially these uh, leaf tail geckos, they get they get imported a lot from Madagascar and you know what I always recommend is to get captive bred animals because the wild cots first of all it's it's not very good to be taking animals out of Madagascar if we if we have animals that we could breed and reproduce here in captivity but the thing is these animals that are wild caught they don't always do the best you know sometimes the shipping process takes a toll on them and they dehydrate and they'll never make it back to full uh, you know to full health so if you could get captive bred animals, a little bit more expensive, but totally worth it. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap up this video. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and now Snapchat. See you next time. <sighs> My script. <laughs> the Europlatus fimbriatus. <laughs> <laughs> the Europlatus fimbriatus. All right, all right, all right. That was funny. That was good. I like that. It was a it was joke. dramatic as fuck. That's about it, no? We talked about temperatures. You, I don't think we touched on humidity. No, we didn't. 30 second video. These guys need the same humidity. <laughs> but we're done.